Now it's on to building the back box to support the new MIP. The new MIP main instrument panel is only built from 5mm ply. However, the old MIP was made from 9mm MDF and is actually quite structurally sound just by itself. It can support all the instruments and the monitors, no problem. However, this new one it bends quite easily and it has no structural rigidity whatsoever. So now we'll go outside out to the workshop and continue. For the MIP box, we're going to be using Red Moranti. It's native wood here to Brunei and it's absolutely fantastic to work with. The only downside is termites absolutely love it. So if it's not treated properly, it just gets worse and worse and it gets completely full of holes. This lower piece is going to attach here, which will really add structural strength. And the monitors, according to CAD, are designed to sit exactly on the base of this piece of wood, and they should be then exactly at the right height of the screens. Let's give it a go. Quite possibly the bluntest drill bit I've got. Well, you can already see that we've come into a problem, which I knew was going to happen because that's what Cad was saying, is that all these top bolts that extrude through the, the back of the MIP are now going to hit this upper support. Now the easiest way to do this would have been to go inside and allow the CNC machine to cut each one out, but I think for just speed and for trial, I think I'll just use the router table just to cut out each individual section. When it comes to the instrument here, it's going to actually need a big recess because it actually protrudes right up to the edge of the surface. Let's see what we can do. Well, I created the upper MIP mount, and as you probably can see, I removed this bit of part here to allow many of the instruments and some of these upper nuts and bolts to fit in. Unfortunately, it's going to make the whole MIP just feel flimsy. So back to the drawing board, and this time I'm going to put another block in here, so we've only got this section and this section. It's actually only this section where the instrument goes, which is the most important. Take two. And here we have version two. Much smaller. The only problem is now the nuts and bolts interfere, so I've got to cut them back a bit as well. Here we go.
to remove the clock here, which I do because I want to fit the seven second displays here and here. Unfortunately, the side brace here contacts the edge of the clock, which means I need to chamfer just like here. I need to chamfer this part here as well, just to make it easier to get in and out. So I walked around the corner and realised rather than use the old MI, MIP stand there, these what actually look now rather small side panels made this stand. And the good thing about this is it's going to be really easy now to install the electrics, the screens and any of the parts that I need to. And while we're here let's just talk about some of the points of the MIP. So I know some of the spotters are going to pick this up. You probably can see two or three different kinds of grey. That's because this is the only grey I can find in this town. It happens to be gloss, which is not ideal because it should be matte. This colour here is the right colour. And on MDF, this actually came out as a matte colour as well. Because this is on shiny plastic and polyester coated plywood, it's turned out to be gloss. Even the finish, the finish is nice and smooth, but it does have a different colour. And then, let me have a quick look. You may notice these white marks and these stains here on most of the MIPs. <clears throat> a few months ago, in fact, quite a long time ago, we had a family of kittens living in the front of the. Uh, the cockpit there and what they did was they, they urinated over everything and uh, not only did it take some of the paint off but on the electrics at the back there were some monitor screens fitted and both sides the circuit boards are absolutely corroded I'm hoping to save them but you never know I think they may be a bit far past it and I end up getting even more monitors they actually have quite a selection inside the house so I think the last thing for today is to fit the gear lever back in.